Hello, this is Jenny Casson. I just wanted to jump on today and talk about uh, a conversation I had with someone recently. I've been talking to a lot of entrepreneurs all over the world, um, asking them about their feelings about money and how money plays a role in their business. And what I have been noticing is there are a lot of entrepreneurs who are aware that they have some challenges when it comes to money. Um, so for example, one entrepreneur I was talking to said, gosh, I would so love to raise money from investors, but first of all, if I had the money, how do I know how I would use it? And how do I know that I wouldn't just go out and spend it and then kind of be right back where I started, um, that I wouldn't be able to use the money in a way that would really be effective? Um, another thing I've been hearing people say is like, oh, I'm so intimidated. Just the word funding makes me feel intimidated. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I just, it's very overwhelming. Um, so yeah. And then there's another one that comes up a lot, which is I talk a lot to entrepreneurs that want to do good in the world. They want to make the world a better place with their business. And I hear a lot of guilt around making money with their business. They feel like, well, maybe I shouldn't be making money off of what I'm doing. Maybe I should be giving it as a gift or, you know, who am I as a privileged person, someone with class privilege, someone with race privilege to charge for my services or to become wealthy when there are other people in the world who are suffering, who don't have money, who don't have the resources they need. So. These are all things that I'm hearing and um, I can totally relate. I've had all of these thoughts myself. Um, and I just wanna really encourage you, if you do have feelings like that, to really um, become aware of them and really question them. Use whatever tools you can to ask yourself questions about whether these things are really true. And, you know, looking at the world as a whole, all the people out there who might be having these thoughts, who could be contributing something really positive to the world, who could be building their own wealth and then using that wealth to do good in the world, to grow their impact. Um, when we have so many change makers with these kinds of limiting beliefs, it's really holding back our world, our planet from making progress. And it absolutely drives me nuts. And of course, again, I have felt these feelings myself. And so I can very much relate, but I just, I hate to see people holding themselves back because of fear, because of guilt, um, because of not trusting themselves with money. Um, it just, it's a shame because so many people who feel that way, if they had a lot of money and resources, would really use it for good. And on a, if you look at it on a large scale, if all of the folks who are thinking that way had money to do the big things they want to do in the world, um, it would have a really amazing impact. I mean, it's this ironic thing where the people who really should have the most money to do the most good because guess what? In the world we live in, having access to money does make it much, much easier to have a big impact. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it definitely helps. I mean, you can hire help, you can you know, pay for advertising, you can uh, make sure you're well taken care of so that you're not exhausted and burnt out. So like it or not, money is, a, is fuel for doing positive things in the world and having a positive impact. It's a type, it's one type of fuel for that. It can buy a lot of things that can make it a lot easier to have the impact that you want to have. And ironically, the people who are kind of holding themselves back from accepting those kinds of resources into their lives are the exact people who would do the most good with it, generally speaking, in my opinion. So if you uh, are, have been having those kinds of thoughts and just feeling like, oh my God, I don't even wanna think about money. It's so overwhelming, it's so intimidating. Um, I wouldn't even know what to do with money if I had it. I hope you will consider coming to my three-day training. It's not just about training on the nuts and bolts of getting money. 
it's also about just really examining what are the things that are holding you back from having that confidence to go ahead and grow your business and own it and and shout from the rooftops how awesome it is and start to feel like it does deserve to have adequate funding and maybe even more than just adequate, uh, maybe uh, abundant funding to achieve the goals that it, it should be achieving in the world because you probably could do a lot of good if you had some more money in your business and in your world. So please, please consider coming to my event. Uh, it's November 2nd through 4th. It's virtual, so it's very easy to show up. And uh, we do have an early bird price that ends on September 1st. So check it out as soon as possible so you can get that early bird price. And I really look forward to seeing you there. And I wanna hear from you about anything that resonated with you about what I talked about on this video. Thank you. Bye.